Hello, I'm Spade. This is another CSGO Pro Positions video where we watch the pros play and try and figure out how to do better ourselves. There's an interesting twist on this one though, which is that we're actually going to try and watch how certain teams set up, in this case LDLC, after they've made a bomb plant at the B site on Inferno to protect it when a retake might actually be possible. So here we are in a 3v2 situation on Inferno in the B site. And I want to see, now that we kind of have an idea of what the setup is, let's take a look. We have two players in the back of B site, one at New Box and one in Dark Spot. And another one is pushed all the way through and cleared um, uh, garden and construction and can sit out at the edge by the truck and spot towards CT. And that is the most exposed player. Generally speaking, when a retake is possible, you want to try and force the other team to take the aggressive role. You don't want to be peeking them because that allows them to get an early pick that allows them the opportunity to actually take that site back. If you force them to burn down the clock looking for you to peek at them, looking for you to get that pick, uh, then their chances are, are much lower. So that's what the two players in the back of the site are doing. They're setting up a nice crossfire. They're staying hidden from the long uh, uh, alleyway down towards CT. The guy in dark is is spotting uh, down towards the top of down towards the top of banana, which we'll see how he does that in the next clip. And uh, let's go ahead and roll this and see how they do. So now we can see uh, that the CTs are looking for that pick in uh, in that alley towards CT. Fortunately, the guy at the truck and construction is able to pick that up, and they can see that uh, Pasha is now just going forget it. I can't do this. We didn't get that pick. It's 3v1. It's not worth it. I'm going to save my gun. Since they know we ran down Banana, they're going to clear out towards CT, keep an eye on the bomb to make sure there's no attempt at running back to ninja it, and, you know, Bob's your uncle, there's your round. Of course, since it's Pasha, he does pick up another weapon before he goes down. So let's look at a different situation. Uh, the numbers are going to be different after this. We're going to go into uh, the B site again. Uh, LDSC goes for a take. Unfortunately for them, um, they have a TK going into uh, the site take. So now instead of having a three on three, it's a two on three and a very low health one at that. In this case, since they don't have anybody to sit at construction, they're just going to post up. And you can see Happy spotting down Banana here, like I mentioned earlier. And they're just going to wait for the CTs to push it because that way they're going to get a little bit of a time advantage. Throwing a flash off that wall is a common practice. In this case, though, 3v2, they have a good crossfire, but it's not going to cut it. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better idea on how you might set up and play that uh, once you've planted as the terrorists on Inferno. Spade out.